Hi guys, today we are going to give you a tour around Saigon, Jelen. Let's follow us. Jelen is known as a busy commercial and trading place of Ho Chi Minh City because most of the main roads connecting the north and the south, the east and the west of the city pass through the district. Most of wholesalers are located in District 5 and distribute goods to other markets across the city. Besides the trading centers and local markets, many legal, financial, tourist and medical services are also gathered here. The first place we are going to be visiting is Chang Tung Market, fruit and vegetable market in Saigon Chinatown. Besides the iconic Bing Tan Market and historic Bing Tai Market, Saigon has many special markets that are less known by visitors and expats, such as Ho Thi Ki Flower Market in District 10, Russian Market in District 1, then District 5 has the 24-hour Chang Tung Market, which is the paradise of cheap fruits and vegetables. Chang Tung Market is open 24 hours a day. It specializes in fruits, vegetables, spice, and many other products at retail and wholesale. Stores are housed in houses on the street. They arrange products in the houses, pavements, and even on the streets. Fruits dominate the Chang Tung Market. Most of the fruits are from the Mekong Delta, ripe or green seasonal fruits are sold popularly on the street at cheap prices. Wait, cheap doesn't mean not good but fresh, good quality and bargainable. All vegetables and fruits are arranged on canvases, mobile cars, two wheels or three wheels vehicles, durians, lychees, avocados, mushrooms, breadfruits, cucumber, beans, white red dishes, tomatoes, pineapples, etc. After the early market, we're gonna visit a temple. This attractive temple is called Ha Chung Hội Quang Temple, built by Chinese from Fujian dates from the late 18th century. The interior is surrounded by stone pillars in the shape of a dragon and decorated with remarkable polychrome bas reliefs. It is surrounded in a haze of smoke from the hanging incense burners. All is dedicated to several deities, among which the most popular one is Thien Hou, also known as Mazu, goddess of seafarers. What makes this pagoda so special are its four carved stone pillars wrapped in painted dragons. Quite interesting to observe carefully, those pillars were crafted in China and brought to Vietnam by boat. Apart from that, the wall paintings and the ceramic embossings on the roof are remarkable. During the French colonial period, this temple was considered as one of the most beautiful in the whole city. To the right side of Thien Ho, there's Chua Sing Nương Nương, a Taoist fertility goddess. And to the left side, there's ever popular Taoist god of wealth. The temple, in fact, is a guild hall which becomes very full of life in the Lantern Festival, a Chinese holiday which falls on the 15th day of the first lunar month. This pagoda is worth a quick visit. Next stop will be Thien Ho Pagoda, the Chinese sea goddess temple. The temple is a Buddhist temple dedicated to Chinese sea goddess Mazu. It's believed that she protects and rescues ships and people on the sea by flying around on a mat or cloud. Mazuism is connected with traditions and beliefs from both Taoism and Buddhism. Mazuism is therefore an incorporation of different aspects and traditions which have merged to form a new belief. When you enter through the iron gate, you will see massive stone incense burners in front of the entrance of Mazu's altar. The exterior is beautifully designed with the traditional curry roof on which small porcelain figures are standing symbol for themes from Chinese religion and legends. The interior has colorful dioramas decorating the roof by representing scenes from the 19th century in a Chinese city. Besides this, the most prominent visible interior design items are the three statues of the Lady of the Sea that dominate the main altar. When visiting, make sure you take your time to look at all the small corners this temple has, as there are many sculptures, statues and artworks to discover. The third temple in our morning visit is Nghi An Hội Quang Pagoda, which was built in 19th century by Ho Chi Minh City Chinese Congregation. The pagoda is dedicated to Quan Gong, a deified general who lived during the Han Dynasty. 
Hidden behind a sinister-looking gate, it is noteworthy for its gilded woodwork. A carved wooden bowl hangs over the entrance and to the left is a large representation of Quang Kong's horse and groom. At the ornate altar, great Quang Kong himself to whom the temple is dedicated. Marvel at the door gods painted on the temple's front door, the statue of Ong Bun, the keeper of happiness and virtue. Resides in a glass altar to the right of the main sanctuary, Nian Hội Quang Pagoda is one of the oldest temples in Saigon. Dai Quang Minh Market is a paradise for all those who love crafts and decoration. A plethora of shops selling accessories like springs, artificial flowers, and ribbons awaits creative minds who are into embroidery, sewing, jewelry making, or simply need some nice strings for gift wrapping. Phung Hưng Market is a famous retail market in Saigon Chinatown, sells everything a person needs in his normal life. This is a favorite place of residence in the area to buy commodities in every morning. It is also a food paradise where to enjoy countless of exotic foods at long-standing eateries. This is the view from Phung Hưng Apartments. It's so cool, isn't it? Tân Thành Market is known as the paradise of motorbike accessories in Ho Chi Minh City. There are hundreds of stores selling different kinds of accessories for Honda, Suzuki, Yamaha, PIO, motorbikes at wholesale and retail. They are both new and old, original and fake items, which are sold at different prices. Most paths seen in the market are quite narrow and always full with people and vehicles. Customer could be a poor student coming to buy items at cheap price to fix his own motorbike or shop owners from neighbor provinces coming to buy motorbike accessories to resell. This is an ideal place to hunt rare accessories for classic and vintage motorbikes such as Cub, Honda 67 or Vespa. Afternoon visit will be a Nansen temple in Saigon, Tomb of Le Van Duyet. Tomb of Le Van Duyet is a Vietnamese tomb located in the bustling Binh Thanh district, Ho Chi Minh City. With an area of 18,500 meters square, the tomb is one of the most impressive ancient constructions that still maintain its archaic beauty until today. The tomb's design bears the signature of the Nguyen dynasty's architecture. From the intricate wood and stone engraving to the doors and the gates, learn more about the tomb as well as the martial Levazuit at the link we put in bio. To end of the tour, we will be heading to a coffee shop. Enjoy a coffee or whatever you want for a drink while watching thousands of vehicles in rush hour at the most contrasted crossroad in Saigon, Hang Seng Cross Road. Saigon has a population of 15 million people with about 7.8 million of vehicles. Looking at its constantly jammed street, traffic is obviously one of the biggest problems in Saigon which is putting its people in choking air. Your jaw will be dropped as you would find a sea of vehicles down there on the streets. Driving during the rush hour and everyone is like stuck in the super crazy traffic, perfecting the art of waiting, waiting for the light to turn, for the roads to clear, for four-wheel vehicles to stop blocking the motorbike lane, and most of all, for a solution to the madness. What else are you waiting for? Contact us now and start planning a great vacation to Vietnam. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and want to hear more from us, please make sure you like and hit the subscribe button down below. Thanks and see you soon.